before we continue with the rest of the video, we could use your help. Click the like button to help spread word about Watch Jojo Animals, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. This woman takes a strange creature out of the ocean, and when she turns it around, it's stunning. When the woman first saw the creature, she perhaps expected it to be like the others she had found. This one, however, looked different. And as she turned it around, it was clear to see that it was exactly what she's been looking for. The person who made the discovery was Kim Baglott, a woman with a passion for aquatic creatures and sea life. Based in British Columbia, Canada, Baglott has a Facebook page called Sea Something that's dedicated to marine finds. She also has a YouTube channel with the same name. As for this particular find, Baglott uploaded a video of it to the channel back in July 2012, and since then it has garnered more than 5 million views and attracted over 20,000 likes. But what exactly was it that Baglott found on the beach that day? As a matter of fact, Baglott used her family to educate viewers on exactly that question. Beachcombers are probably familiar with these creatures. On the other hand, despite collecting them, some people might not know what they are. In fact, they are called sand dollars, and they're a type of burrowing sea urchin. It's easy to see how they got their name. Their shells, or tests, are roundish in shape and decorated with a natural, almost floral pattern. And when they were found in earlier times, the overall impression was that of an old American dollar, or a Spanish coin. This interesting pattern is in fact formed by the sand dollar's feet, on its underside. The creatures use these tube-like limbs to move along the sea floor in search of food. One of the most fascinating things about sand dollars, though, is their young. Before they develop their tests, young sand dollars larvae have another means of protecting themselves. When threatened, they can duplicate themselves to give predators more targets to aim for. And although this technique halves a given larva's size, in theory, it also doubles its chances of survival. Sand dollars are found in shallow warm waters, and they commonly wash ashore with the tide. They're actually particularly easy to find in the wake of storms, and as they lie in the hot sun, their tests are bleached white, making them become the sand dollars that are familiar to beachcombers. On the other hand, because of their brittle shells, discovering an intact sand dollar can be tough. Furthermore, the one that Baglock came across was quite different to the white examples usually found on beaches. Indeed, hers was almost black in colour. Still, there was a simple explanation for that, as Baglot revealed in her video. What I have here is a live sand dollar, she explained. You might be used to what a dead one looks like, so I'm just going to put this guy down for a minute. For comparison, Baglot found another sand dollar, this one distinctly different. Sometimes they'll be quite white, sometimes they'll be covered in seaweed, like this one is, she said. It was certainly dead, but it hadn't been bleached by the sun. But Baglot knew what to look for. Aside from the colour, there were telltale signs that the sand dollar she was holding was dead. One of the biggest indicators was in fact on the underside of the creature. There was a small hole in the centre of the test. You're able to see a set of grooves and an opening at the bottom, Baglot noted. All of this tells me that this is a dead sand dollar. Now, if I go back to our live sand dollar, things are a little bit different. With that, Baglot went and found the first sand dollar that she had been holding and picked it back up. Knowing what to look for, there was a noticeable difference between them. These are often quite dark in colour, almost black-purple, she said. Baglot also pointed out how you could still just see the floral pattern on the living sand dollar, but the most startling difference was still to come, and it was only revealed when she turned the urchin over, exposing the underside. There could be no mistaking it for the sand dollar that Baglot had previously held, whereas the dead one had vein-like tracks and a hole in its middle. The living urchin was nothing like that. You don't actually see that opening the same way, she pointed out. But of course, the most striking difference were the bristles that covered the surface underneath the sand dollar's test. If you take a really close look, you can actually see the bristles are moving, Baglot continued. In fact, these are vital to the urchin's lifestyle. What these sand dollars eat are microscopic organisms floating in the water, Baglot explained. So that's why they have all of these fine bristles. They'll actually catch this plankton and move it with their bristles into the centre where their mouth is. Some YouTube users were surprised to find out what sand dollars really are, 
One viewer wrote, This whole time I thought that sand dollars were just fancy rocks, but they're actually alive. Others were horrified at their sand dollar collections upon realizing that they in fact comprise dead creatures. Regardless, there's no denying that they are very interesting organisms. So the next time you're on the beach, look out for one. And if you find one alive, we're sure it would only appreciate being dropped back into the sea. Don't expect a tip though, they only have a dollar to their name. Please do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell to receive everything that is new.